yes, I do love working on a dairy farm. I love. You know, That's not what I asked, Charlie. Why are you weaseling out of the question? I said, do you love taking your dairy cows to the slaughterhouse? I, can, I work on a dairy farm. And a lot of the cows that are on that dairy farm, I, I care for as if they're my pets. And you send them to the slaughterhouse? If it gets to that point, yes. If we have to, we will. You're yeah. going to lose. I don't care about that. I don't care about Panorama. That's totally different. That is... No, it doesn't. No, it, it does not matter, mate. It does not matter because 86% of pigs, no matter what, are killed in gas chambers. You're telling me as a human, would I want to go into a slaughterhouse? And I would say no. Okay. Do you think a cow wants to? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Does a cow want to? Well, a cow doesn't know what it wants. It just sort of cuts about... Uh, and a farmer, a farmer, Charlie? Oh, uh, yeah. How you going, buddy? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Where are you from? I'm from uh, from sort of Birmingham, Worcestershire way in England. Oh, really? What made you jump on in the live stream? You you just popped up. To be fair, I, I don't know. You, you've done it a few times now. You just popped up on my view page, and I, I'm I I find it very interesting the, okay. the, the what you say. Um, All right. And sort of. Obviously, I don't agree with a lot of what stuff you say because I'm a farmer and you're against farmers. Uh, so, well, we, um, I'm against, uh, yeah, raising animals to kill them for food. Okay. Yeah, and other well, reasons. Well, I mean, I see your point with that, but realistically, you're not. You make it out like they're living really horrible lives and they're and they're being tortured every day and all that sort of stuff. But realistically, they're not. And uh, wait a second uh, before you continue. Um, when I say that, I'm actually talking about the majority of farming. Do you support the majority of farming? Of course I do. I'm a farmer. But if you actually okay, okay, one sec, one sec. I'll let you. I'll let you finish as well. But you know, the majority of farming is actually factory farming statistically. So you support factory farming? No, and this is what I mean. I am. Wait, 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 wait. No, you now you're saying no. So you said I asked you if you support the majority of farming. Let me explain myself. No, well, well, okay, just, okay. this is just what happened, and then I'll let you go, right? I asked you if you support the majority of farming. You said, yes, of course, I'm a farmer. I said, did you know the majority of farming is factory farming, statistically? And uh, do you support factory farming? And you said, no. So which one is it? Well, when you look at majority of farming, I'm not sure about the statistics in the US. I'll be completely honest. I'm not sure what it's like in the US. but for UK. Let's talk UK. A lot. Most farmers, I don't agree with factory farming. I, I agree with you on that. Factory farming. Charlie, farming. let's talk the UK. What uh, is the majority of farming in the UK? Factory farming. No. no. But what would you class as factory farming? Because what you class as factory farming is different from what I Just, class as factory farming. Uh, it, well, intensive indoor units that uh, basically the, the animals have kept in intensive indoor units for some or most or all of their life. But that sometimes can be better for them because they are actually... Fed. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, we'll get into that. Charlie, we, we will get into that. But do you disagree that the majority of animals in the UK are factory farmed? I disagree with that, yeah. They're not. Wow, the and you're a farmer. Of farming, Brother. The majority of farming in the UK. It is it's 85% of land animals in the UK are factory farmed. 85%. Why would we not care about animals? Why would we not? Because at the end of the day, you all guys always talk about, you know, it's for No, profit. no, no, bro. Profit. I'm telling you. That comes into it. Like, I'm telling you, the vast majority of animals in the UK are factory farmed. I think you'll find Right? That. You told me you don't support factory farming, but then you told me you support the majority of animals. Just look, you're a farmer. What what animals do you farm, Charlie? I, what, so I'm a dairy farmer. I'm, you're a dairy farmer. Okay, you, you do dairy farming. Okay. Um, dairy, beef, so, dairy. what do you represent? Uh, chicken farming and pig farming too? Do you, do you, are you going to be their spokesperson? I, I, no, I don't. But from what I know, I know a lot of chicken farmers. I know pig farmers, and they are normal people. They look after their animals. They care for their animals. Oh, really? They're compassionate. Oh, really? They're... Compassionate. How, yeah. Do you know that? Okay, so so when you talk about pig and chicken farming, you know over ninety percent of those both are uh, over ninety percent of. I think it's ninety five percent of pigs. Over ninety five percent of chickens. They're all factory farmed. Well, because it's better. It, no, factory. It's they're free range. They live in sheds, and what what it is 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 they live in sheds. They are given the opportunity to go outside. They are. I, I can tell you now. I've been to. Okay, place. so pigs. Uh, so okay. Now let's go. Let's go. Pigs are given the opportunity to go outside. Are they in um, red tractor farms? farms? I've seen. 
Oh, well, let's talk Red. Do you know who Red Tractor are? Yeah, Red Tractor. Yeah. Red Tractor. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's go Red Tractor. Charlie knows Red Tractor. So you say, are you telling me that Red Tractor allow their pigs in their factory farms to go outside when they want? Well, I don't know the majority of pig farmers, but I know the ones that I know. Yeah, they do. <laughs> well, then why are you talking like you, you're talking for the majority, dude? I'm ta- When I say I'm animals are factory farmed... I don't know enough, enough about pig and uh, pig and poultry really well let's well you don't um and that's clear because i study this every single day but but charlie you, you you're a dairy farmer there is you study other vegan propaganda and believe their statistics you don't <laughs> Bro, these are fao statistics from the government fao from what government british government these are government stats what are you talking about vegan propaganda dude these are government statistics Honestly. I don't know. Listen, I don't know enough about pig and poultry. I, I apologise for that. You don't know enough about fat. If you don't think the majority of animals are factory farm in the UK, I know about dairy and beef. Oh, um, well, I, well, then why don't you just speak for dairy and shut up about the rest? Because you you don't know what you're talking about. Speak for dairy and beef, and I'll shut up about. You the rest. said that pig farmers are compassionate. Most pig farmers are red tractor, right? So eighty five percent of farms, uh, pig farms are red tractor approved. They approved. Do you know what farrowing crates are? No, what sorry is? Do you know what farrowing crates are? Yeah, where they they give birth and they're in a in a in a in a in a cage. Pardon? In a cage. Yeah, but a farrowing crate, pro- and they bite the bars and that. Have you been in a in a in a farrowing shed? How aggressive a, a pig can be to their piglets. It's like the are, you saying, are you saying are you saying they're in the cage because they're aggressive? That's why we take the cars away. From all right, all right. So, but what about on free range farms that you just talked about? With this, if they're so aggressive, why do they let them free? In free range farms. They're not with humans. They're not with. No, 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 no. Wait a second. Wait a second. You said they are, they're allowed free in free range farms. If they're so aggressive, why do they allow them even allow them in free range farms? Why don't they just keep them in those cages so they can't kill their piglets? They don't keep them in there all the time, do they? Well, well, listen, bro. It's, that's another question. All right, that's another. That's another. Do they keep them there all the time? No, it's about five weeks at a time know, while they're yeah. while they're farrowing their young, right? And they put, get put in a week before uh, when they're just about to give birth. But what I'm saying is, sixty percent of um, sows are in those farrowing crates. And you tell me, fa- farmers are compassionate. And have you ever been in a farrowing shed? Have you ever been in a I've farrowing not, I, shed? I've been in pig sheds, but I've never seen no. I've not, I've not seen them being used. Before okay, now. that's fine. You're a farmer and you've never been in a farrowing shed. This is the problem with farmers that no, like you, Charlie. Exactly. So you can't speak. Farmer. I'm not a pig and poultry farmer. Okay, well then this is the problem, Charlie. People, People uh, that, that are on TikTok, TikTok right? right? I see farmers all the time. I'm not saying just you, but this happens a lot. Farmers have a certain farm at their house, right? Or wherever you live. And they think, and then they start speaking for all farmers and start propagating nonsense, right? When I go into these farms, I've got a bunch, I know a bunch of people who've investigated these farms for years and exposed red tractor farms. And we don't just repeat vegan propaganda. We look at the stats. The stats don't like, you've done not one second of research on this. You've come in as a farmer, started speaking for all farmers, that we're all compassionate. And when and then you said you support the majority of farming in the UK, the majority of the farming statistically is by and large factory farming, right? And then you're against factory farming. So we can talk about your farm as well, but I just want you to agree that you're actually against most of factory farming. Uh, most of farming in the UK, which is by virtue factory farming. I can't hear you, but speak up, bro. You, oh, you're sorry, Mark. sorry about that. Yeah, no, that's all right. If you look at factory farming and, and what people think about it, you know, like battery farms and factory farms are very similar. But factory farming is, it's a, it's a very wide it's used very freely a factory the word factory farm is used very freely in my opinion and you've actually got to look at the farm and the reason why you know these big uh, like i said i don't know enough about pig and poultry to argue with you i know a bit i don't know enough to argue but i know enough about dairy and beef to, to argue with you all day, all night long about dairy. okay and well beef. well we can talk about dairy and beef but that represents a small percentage that of the animals farm the majority in the UK. Of, uh, a lot of far not majority but a lot a lot of farming in the uk Dairy it's and beef. a minority of farms. Are, no, no, uh, of, of... I'm sorry, I didn't mean majority, but it's a lot of the farming in the UK is dairy, beef. It's a very mixed country. I'm saying most of the animals that are killed, well, most of the animals that are that are slaughtered in the UK, which animal is it? 
Like the majority of animals. Which which species of animal is it? I guess I would guess be. No, the majority of animals that are killed are chickens. Are chickens, bro? Chickens, there are. They are. You get less meat off them, don't you? Because they're smaller. Well, I said. So, I yeah, said. I didn't ask right. you for the weight of meat. I asked you for the the, the number, number of animals. animals. The, the majority, majority of, of the animals, animals um, are, yeah, that are killed in the UK. Well, so single single animals, which and which, which well, it's chickens, okay, and, and uh, it's a billion chickens. It's a, bi a billion chickens a uh, year in the UK. Okay, so what you're basically saying there is, is not that's not that. Yeah, we kill a billion chickens a year. Yeah, and um, I'm I'm saying that that over ninety five percent of those are factory farmed, in big indoor intensive units. Yeah. Yeah. Intensive and factory. No, intent. When I say intensive, I mean indoor. Yeah, intensive, intensive and factory are very different. Why are they different? intensive is is you are uh, you have them inside but they're but you have them inside because they are they're probably better off welfare wise because you can feed them you can keep an eye on them all the time you can make sure that if, if there's any disease if they're outside you're not going to catch it straight away so how is that different to factory farming huh how is intensive farming different to factory farming i'm just using the same description i'm just interchanging those things it's conditions and the conditions in a high intensity unit are above and beyond and i've you know they are the conditions have to be because they're inside all the time so you're saying the conditions are much better inside an intensive farm an intensive farm they would have to be more hot on diseases more hot on because they're inside they're close together all the time um so you're saying the welfare is better for the animals inside of an indoor no, the well, I mean, welfare on every farm in the UK, whether it's intensive, whether it's free range, is is not every farm, obviously, because there are the bad ones. As you know, I don't know if you saw the BBC um, film um, about dairy farming, but you know. That's yeah, but uh, look, are you talking when you say indoor farms are better? Are you talking about dairy? Because I'm talking about the billion chickens that are slaughtered first. Uh, but we can go move on to dairy. I, to you, I don't know enough about pig and poultry. So okay, because I just I followed on from that. You you started saying um. Like well, I, I said, a billion it. chickens are slaughtered. I said over 95% of them are factory farmed, right? And then you started saying about uh, intensive farms are good. You know, um, I was talking about indoor intensive, like factory chicken farms. And then, okay, we can, but we can, you can just agree that you don't know anything about pigs and chickens, which are... No, I don't know anything. I don't know enough to, to have this argument. I don't know enough statistics on that. I don't know. I haven't okay. been to enough chicken sheds to vary my view. I've, the ones I've seen and the ones I've been to are free range. And how many animals were... Okay, so if you're... Free range, like, chickens that people... Like, meat chickens, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, well, free range in general is... That's what it means. It's outdoors. Yeah, it's but are you talking about an egg farm? Well, there's two... There's either egg farms or chicken... For, yeah, you uh, got broiler farms. Sheds or... Okay. And the most of the broiler sheds you've seen are free range? Both types I've seen. Are, there's There are... A few that free range there's you know it majority of it i know I, that i know of is they they give them the opportunity to go outside I are you talking about an egg farm or a free range chicken uh, broiler farm an egg farm or a free range broiler farm like i've said i've not been enough to enough farms but i've never i've not i'm just asking you farms. for your personal experience what have you personally experienced a free range egg farm or a free range broiler farm well where i used to work obviously i was dairy up there but there was a, a three or four free range egg farms up there um, okay that, that that's an egg different farm. That isn't it like i said like a broiler shed but that's different to broilers isn't yeah, it? yeah i've not i've not as of yet seen a broiler shed in real life okay and you think free range egg farms are like the business well one what do you mean by the business it's free range like isn't. really good do you think they're really good really good welfare it, it depends on oh welfare wise yeah free range is good it the thing is what you've got to remember is with free range, it doesn't necessarily mean it, it, they are given the opportunity to go outside all yeah. the time. But a lot of them, oh, really? a lot of the chickens prefer to be inside oh, really? because that's where they get fed. That's where they, you know, oh, sleep. Really? they prefer that. I mean, I'm not, they, chicken, they prefer to be inside, but pardon? pardon, they prefer to be inside. Yeah. Majority of them. If you look at it, they're given the opportunity to go outside. The doors are open. They can go outside. They can walk around freely. But a lot the majority, you're saying now. Inside. All right. So um, 
do you know, like on a free range, in a free range egg barn, you can leave the doors open. Doesn't mean all the chickens are going to be able to have access. Yeah. Well, surely that means that they will be if the doors are open. <laughs> nah, man. Like, uh, like if you think of sixteen thousand birds in a barn, uh, they they have something like a pecking order, you know. And like a lot of the the weaker birds can't even get through the doors. A lot of go birds guard the doors. They don't, they don't even get access. There's there's the the doors are there. That's right. That's correct. But whether or not they get to go outside, different story. But we can we can just operate off the assumption they do. <laughs> Which they don't actually. You're saying they like to stay indoors. Well, well, not necessarily. Birds are birds like to be out in the grass and scratching and doing all their natural behaviors and stuff. And I don't think I think they're just conditioned to be in this in, inside unit. But um, you know, they uh, when they're laying egg after egg after egg, how how much how long do you think they can keep that up before they they just start? You know, chickens they they lay an egg a day or around yeah, an egg a day in the industry, industry yeah. yeah? Okay. Well, I, I, yeah, I think so. I, like I said, I would, ra I would rather talk about dairy and beef because okay. that's what I know. Well, let's, about. well, let's just assume you don't know anything about enough about free range eggs to have a debate with me on that topic. So yeah. I guess you would have to get a chicken farmer and a pig farmer on here. They'll, they will talk to you about that. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So what I'm going to say is that you don't know enough about the industry. I obviously know more than you about the industry. So they are, I, I well, think I'll just go. You, yeah. You know more than me, but you, but I'm not saying. It's, okay. It's, well, then it doesn't to, really. You need, you need to get a chicken and pig farm on here. You're talking to a dairy and beef farmer about chickens. Yeah, but okay. The only reason I'm pressing you on it, Charlie, is because you jump in here to defend farming as a whole, and I think that's a big mistake on your part because you don't know enough about it, and you're defending something you don't even know what you're defending. I'm defending what, what I've seen. I, you know, I don't get a lot of. Is what I find on um, because okay. I've made. Well, that's fine. Farm. What you've seen, I, I don't really give of... a shit about what you've seen, dude. I care about what's to, what is statistically relevant. No, no, no not as seen as in what I've seen on TikTok and whatnot. I get okay. a lot of a lot of the things pop up for you, for you page. They obviously they look at what you look at because I'm dairy and beef. I get a lot of the dairy and beef. Oh, um, yeah. You know, you guys look talk about dairy and beef a lot. I don't get a lot about the chickens. Why isn't that working? Um, so I would rather talk about dairy. I think I've just seen a comment um, about someone wants us to talk about dairy. If that's right. Okay. Yeah, dairy and beef. yeah, we can talk about dairy, but I'm just looking for a concession. Right, because you come in here and you try to defend the hunt. We can go to dairy. I'm happy to talk about dairy and yeah. beef, right? But I'm looking for you come in here and started defending the whole of animal agriculture as a farmer because I get where it comes from. You're defensive. You're a farmer and you think, oh, wait, he's saying all this shit. I don't agree with it. You don't know enough about the industry, right, to know, defend I, the entire I, I, industry. No, no, you're generalizing that. I don't know enough about the pig and poultry industry. Yeah, but, but you only know about dairy natural. and beef. You've got dairy so you don't know about turkey farming. You don't know about egg industry. You don't know about broiler chickens. You don't know about know duck industry. You don't, don't know about debate you because I, I, goat you milk. Know. You don't. You don't know about lambs. So oh, no, you, you know, know about. about oh, I know about. I know about sheep as well. Sheep. Okay, know about sheep. Okay, so you know about all those grass roaming animals, but you don't know about, you know, in, and this is interesting actually. Most farmers don't actually think about factory farming. I think what you're doing here is you're avoiding dairy and beef. No, no, no. I, 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 what I do you mean? I do campaigns on them. And I think you go going over it and going over it. I think we put that to the side and we'll talk about dairy. Okay. Dairy. Yeah, but you know why I'm you know why I'm talking about those other industries because they make up the majority of of factory farming in this country. And when I talk about factory farming, I'm talking about the majority of yes, they're high intensity. Farming. Okay, so you want to talk about you want to talk about the two, three, four, five percent over here, the free range dairy and that. I'm, I'm talking, talking about well, what the majority. There's a lot no, no, I'm talking about. Well, there are also. In the UK, there's a lot of dairy farms in the US, and I know there's a lot of you know beef farms, and I know that that there are. I'm just saying that the majority of factory farmed farm animals, animals are chickens, a billion, billion a year in, in the UK. No, I'm saying, I'm saying general, yeah. So when general, I speak, there's a lot of dairy, okay. there's a lot of beef, there's a lot. Of okay, so what all I was doing, Charlie, is, rep is talking about the majority of farming in the UK. Okay, okay that's, that's all I was doing. doing. So, so if you think that's dishonest, that's fine. I don't know the stats, but I can tell you now that there is a lot, a lot of dairy, a lot of beef, and a lot of sheep. Okay. Well, the stats are it's around it's around eighty five percent of animals in the UK are factory want, farmed. I don't want to sound patronising. Do you know Do you know Wales? You know, uh, part of the UK. Yeah, right. Wales, Wales is mainly a lot. There's a lot, a lot of sheep in there, and there's a lot of dairy and a lot of beef. Um, and you know, even in England, there's a lot of arable as well. Obviously, there's a lot of beef, uh, a lot of dairy. There are chicken and pig sheds. Don't get me wrong. 
you know, there's, there's heaps of chicken and pig sheds, brother. Yeah. But, yeah. But okay. Okay. Let's talk about then the dairy industry, if you like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, where would you like to start with your, uh, what, what, I, I, okay. Let's just start here. I think that um the dairy Sorry, industry. You fire a question at me about the dairy industry that one of your worries possibly, and I'll try and tell you from a farmer's point of view. Well, are you going to tell me from your farm's point of view? You're going to tell me what is statistically relevant in the dairy industry. I'm going to speak for the majority. You're going to speak range. for the entire dairy industry. Pardon? Are you going to speak for the entire dairy industry? Well. I know majority of dairy industry is free range and there's a lot of dairy farmers. I know, I know plenty of dairy farms. I've been to their farms. Yeah, I know. I'm just talking about They're like, very similar mindset. Yeah. 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 Because, uh, when we're debating about this, I would like to keep it on what is, uh, relevant in the dairy industry for the majority. I don't want to hear, well, my friend lets a calf stay with their mum. What, 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 you, what, what, Okay, you ask ask me a question. What? I'm just uh, I'm just what, what I'm trying to say, Charlie, is I'm not looking for. We'll do is we'll start. We'll cut to the chase. We'll start when they're babies, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I don't want to hear about anecdotes. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to hear about anecdotes. You know what? An, a personal story of someone. I want to hear about what is relevant. Certain things. Okay. And there are. That's cool. You know, so the calves. We, you know, if you're a beef suckler herd and you've got a, a cow breed that that is, you know. You've got a cow. It's it's not even about breeds. It's about the cow, the single cow. If you know a cow is going to be good to its calf, you in dairy you leave the you take the cow away because dairy cows, from what I've seen and from what I know, um, and from what a lot of people said online and all that sort of stuff, I've you know I've personally seen. I'm not saying this is not. I'm just I've personally seen dairy cows trample their own calves. You know they almost don't want to. You don't want to have anything to do with them. And, and Oh, so you've seen that, have you? Uh, and it's not nice. Uh, you know, it's not nice to see it. Oh, so so you've seen a cow like just, they've had their calf and then they just trample all over them and they don't care? Well, a lot, if it's a first time mother, yeah. you know, they don't know what they're doing. And we take them away because one, it means, and obviously like, like humans, colostrum is the most important thing to give a calf within the first six hours of life. And you can We can talk that. about colostrum. Um, can you agree? We can talk about colostrum, and I know that the calves are given the colostrum from the mother. Sometimes the calves don't, you know, sometimes calves, I know it's an instinct, but a lot of the time they don't know how to suck. They, they can't find the teat or whatever. So oh, right, that's fine. Away. We give them if that you... colostrum and we oh, feed that's them great. to make, to that's make great. sure they've drunk. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then what happens to the calf after you give them the colostrum? So a lot of the time, so, pardon? Uh, what what happens? So so you you, you remove the color, you remove the calf. Yeah. And then you you put them in isolation. You get the colostrum. So, we, so um, they'll either go into a warming pen for a few hours to dry off and all that sort of stuff, or they'll go straight into a calf okay. shed, which is uh which has got other calves in, and they can you know live in the calf shed with enough room. They've got loads of space. Um, you know, oh, yeah. run around. Yeah, you know, they're only little animals but at that point. Aren't so they? you're saying that's uh, that's that's just what all all dairy farmers do? They put them in a calf shed with other calves where they've got loads of space. Well, you just said, like, you know, speak for drugs. Every dairy farm has a different system, and so you can't speak on the whole industry. But there are reasons why. Oh well, uh, let's talk about the bigger dairy farms um, as well, because like I just want to, I just want you to just tell me what those, what the the other systems look like. Well, there's a few systems. You either, um, if it's a beef system. No, 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 no. Dairy calves, female dairy calves. Female dairy calves are. Uh, we put them in with uh, with other dairy calves. No, I'm not uh, saying you. Pardon? I'm saying I'm asking you what the other big dairy farms do when they remove female calves from their mothers. Well, as I said, there's a few different systems that a farm might follow. That's one of them. Where they'll take them away, they'll put them in. Well, tell me the other. So the other, the other ones are the other ones you uh, you leave them on the mum to drink the colostrum, as I say, um, and then as they start to get bigger they will start to hurt them up because they're getting bigger and, you know, they're still wanting milk and they can't, you know, that we will then take them away. It varies in age, but we'll take them away and we'll start to feed them 
uh, either milk, still from the tank. Uh, You're avoiding this really badly, eh, bro? This is, uh, you, bro, you are, Charlie, you are avoiding this really badly, eh? What? Don't you know what calf hutches are? A calf hutch? Don't you know what a calf hutch is? Well, yeah, so when, they're, when they live outside on grass, we put a hutch out there for them, so if it rains, they don't get wet, they don't get cold, we put straw in there for them, they can stay warm, they can stay dry. No, no, what is a calf hutch? It's, it's a, a... What, what is, is a calf, calf hutch? hutch? Well, it's a hutch. It's, it's an enclosed space. It's a little enclosed, like, little cage thing you put them in, eh? Which is on the edge of a field or a, a paddock, if they're outside. Mm, well, it's an enclosed... It's an enclosed cage that the calves go in and that's where they're fed. You're trying to, you're, this is what, very funny the way you do this because you, you try and trap people into I've just said a hutch is what's put in a field when they're outside so they don't get cold, they don't get wet. If it starts to rain, <laughs> they don't get, you know, they stay dry, they stay warm. It's on it's on the edge of a, a paddock or a bit of land or whatever. So they have a... So they can't, they, they, they literally... Um, so what you're saying is they can, they can move out of the hutch whenever they want, yeah? If it's outside, the majority of the time, yeah, they'll be on the edge. Majority of the time, they can move out of their hutches, yeah? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, I, I would say okay. that they could. Because the one, like I've said... That's I've a load of one. nonsense, it's brother. Been on, been that is a load of absolute nonsense. Nonsense, mate. You, you, you think you speak for the majority? Show me who's uploaded this video. What is this? A, is this a, well, this is, me in a, this is me in a dairy farm. Yeah, this is me in a dairy farm in England. Dairy farm. In England, what are you talking about? It's enclosed. It's it's outside. They've got the hutches behind them. They've oh, can they get out of there? Can they? Can, can they get out of there whenever they want? want? No, but you were talking about just the hutches. Uh, oh well, then why why? Well, then oh, what are you on about? You just said they can get out whenever they want. As I said, there's a bit of area. Come on, buddy. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. You you think I'm stupid? You're yeah, acting yeah, like I'm you, stupid. No, 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 no. What you what you? You said a hutch, so they can get out the hutch. So they, they remove the calves, they put them in a calf hutch, the females, they remove the calves, they put them in a calf hutch most of the time for, for larger dairies, yeah? They put them in calf hutches. And they feed them what? A formula? They feed them milk. You're saying they don't... Okay, so what's your next claim? They don't feed cows a replacement formula? They don't feed, feed calves? They might, they might feed them replacement powder. But sometimes that's because you can get higher proteins from those. Okay, well, I'm just asking you if they do, and you keep avoiding it and saying they feed them the milk from the mum. Um, like I said, it depends on the farm. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm not talking about... I'm talking about what is most common, right? But we can talk about those those little tiny backyard farms like your, your house. Exactly. And obviously, I'm not talking about just me, but okay. the farms I work okay. on, it, so varies. it can vary. Why don't they leave the calf with the mum? Pardon? Why don't they leave the calf with the mother? Well, that's just You're saying, a lot are you sticking with they trample them? A lot of the time that we, we remove them because we don't want the calves to get hurt, number one. Because the cows, you know, they might be gentle creatures and, you know, everyone thinks they're... So, they're so you're saying dangerous. that... They can, if they turn on a calf, they can kill it. <laughs> they don't know. They don't. They rarely do. It would be an accident. Calves, cows are maternal animals. Pardon? Cows are maternal animals. That, that, that calf has been in their stomach for nine months. But realistically, when you go and look at it, a lot of the cows don't let the calves suck. Oh, really? Yeah. The ones I've seen anyway. And I know we, you know, we, you know, we said earlier, oh, we don't want anecdotes, whatever. But the ones are I've Are you talking about their first calf? Are you talking about the, their first calf? They don't let it suck? Well, it can vary. As I said, you know, we speak about the industry as if it's black and white. So you saying a mother, a mother mammal doesn't know how to nurture their own young, but it's only in the dairy industry. Every other mother that has young? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So every other animal, right, that's a mammal, knows how to nurture their young, but you're saying only in the dairy industry. No, 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 no. You, you have to look after it. these Never calves so much. Sometimes we do leave the calves on the cows. It yeah, depends. but I'm not talking about you, Charlie. You're speaking for the dairy industry. What is most common practice in the dairy industry in the UK? Taking the cows, cows off their... Exactly. The and what I'm most interested in is your justification for it, which is hilarious, which is that you're, you're well, doing no, it for well, the animals. Well, well, it's not hilarious. It's it, is hilarious. it is hilarious. It is hilarious because because what, what yeah, you yeah. haven't mentioned is that um, it's not financially like advantageous 
to let a calf drink as much milk from the mother as they want when you've got to milk that cow twice, three times a day. Talk, right, let's, let's, we're talking financials, okay? And I'm talking that, that you can't let the calf listen, take listen, the milk listen, that you have to bought, sell. You bought a financial, now we're going to talk about it because, yes, uh, all right. Well, we've got to yeah, we've got I'm to talking about the financial to reason for this industry to begin it. with. The, the powder that we buy for to replace this milk, say we feed them powder, is generally, if you look at per litre, more expensive than milk in itself so it's why would we you know that's making us a loss so, so wait, wait a, second. a second you're saying all these dairy farmers out there are actually in a loss so they're doing it for the love uh, there is very little money in farming generally we all do it for so the so farm, farm. are you are you trying to tell me that dairy farmers actually do this because they care about animals yeah so, so let me get this straight. Use, All right, no, no, Charlie, Charlie, I've just got to get this straight and then I'll let you talk. I've just got to get this straight so I know what you're saying. That you, you obviously harvest semen from bulls by jacking them off. You inject that semen into the vagina of a cow, right? And they do this on a mass scale. This is the, mo this is the most predominant method, right? They do that. So they get, they get in calf. They take the calves away. They milk the mother. They give the calf a replacer. They send the bull calves off to God knows where, veal, beef, whatever. Yeah, 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 okay. You don't kill bull calves. And it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. But anyway, but anyway, let me finish my little story here. So you do all of this, right? You take the milk out of them. You sell the milk, right? You do that, what, what three, four times, four cycles. And then when she's had her four cycles, she doesn't uh, calf anymore. She's not, you know, she's not going to you know, be easy to inseminate. I don't know, she doesn't calf. You send her to the slaughterhouse to be chopped up for meat, right? Uh, you do all of this because you actually care about cows. Okay, well, if, are you going to let me actually speak now? Yeah, okay. now now okay. I just want to know, you do all of this because you care about cows. That's all I want to know. So we give birth, the cows give birth, because as we know, you know, it is, everyone knows, you can't have milk unless something's in, it's like a, it's like a human. They can't produce milk unless they're in, in you know. I, I'm just milk. asking. You didn't answer my question, bro. I just said, do you do all of that? Does the dairy industry, right? Because you're speaking for the dairy industry. Does the dairy industry do all of what I just said because they care about cows? Well, no, because what you've done there is ask a question that means I, that's not a black and white question. That's not a yes or no well, you question. Just said, I asked you this and you said yes before. <laughs> You just said this, dude. You just said that that, that we do it because we care about cows. You've worded it in a way that... I've just worded the process. I've worded the process. No, what you've done is you've worded it in a way that fits your... your. Do dairy farmers most predominantly AI cows? Because it's safer, yeah. But I don't care what you what justification you use. Do farmers... So, so that part of the process was right. Okay, that part of the process was right. That was accurate. Um, do bull calves go to veal or beef? Or be killed, depending on the farm. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I, I don't. I'm I, just saying, do these three things happen depending on the farm? There is, a, there is, listen, there is an industry for veal. You are a weasel, dude. You're weaseling. You're a weasel. Don't weasel out of questions. I'm just saying, do these three things happen depending on the farm? Hang on, sorry, it's one of my friends. Sorry, what was your question? I'm, I'm just saying. Do calves? Do calves um, either get do bull calves? If you if your friend keeps going, I'm gonna hang up on you. If your friend I, keeps you, going, I'm gonna hang up on you. You broke up then. I couldn't hear what you said. I said if your friend keeps going, I'm gonna hang up on you. No, no, he's not coming in now. Tom's bugger up. All right. So three things happen to bull calves depending on the farm. I'm just asking you if this is true. They either okay. get sent off to for veal, they go for beef, or they get killed. One of those three things. That I'm not saying. The killing always happens. The veal always happens, or the beef always happens. I'm saying it's one of those outcomes for for bull calves in the UK. Yes or no? So they so they either so go so they either they either go for veal, they go for beef, or they get killed. I'm just trying to ask you if one of those outcomes either so they either get sent off for veal, they get raised to be either or beef, or sometimes sometimes farmers kill them on the farm. No, because you have to have a license to kill on farm. It doesn't matter. What if they've got a license, dude? Mm, they would. I'm just saying, does that outcome ever happen? <laughs> very, 
We've got footage of it, dude. You're tripping. <laughs> We've got footage of it. You're such a wit. You, it would be better if you were honest. You're trying so hard to defend dairy that you just don't admit that bull calves are killed. I know it's being outlawed by the end Listen, of this year. It can, yeah, like I said, it, it does happen. Why did, was that so hard, bro? This is why you're dishonest. I'm like, I'm no, trying to have a because you what you're doing is you're trying to get me to say something that I don't. I know. I'm the, asking the you if one of those three calf outcomes happen, right? Because I, what I did there is I just explained dairy. Right, dairy. That I just explained the process of dairy. dairy. Yeah, I did. I said, are they you the calves are very bad? You explained it in a very bad and definitely. I just very explained the process, dude. You're a vegan just from that, because what they do is they don't. What do, what do they do? Explain the truth. You haven't denied any of this happens yet. No, because you've made it worse than it sounds. It, you made it sound worse than it really is. <laughs> you make it sound better. We do it for their own good. We're doing all this because we care about cows. Bro, what you, dairy what industry does it for money. You're just mentioning one video, your videos, and and dairy industry does this for money, period. But what's the point of? I know. Listen, I and this is what I'm gonna say. I get, I get that it does happen. They send them off a veal. But what is the? If you're talking about money, I'm just saying, dude. You you tried to tell me with a straight face sitting there that that dairy industry does this to cows because they care about them. Are you okay? Who cares? Who cares about someone so much that they exploit them, take their kids away we, from them, and kill them all? How are we, this is so. This is the wording that you guys. Use. How are we exploiting them? I'm genuinely curious. How do you think we're exploiting them? You're using them for your own gain. Yeah, You're using was, them for your own gain. Okay, it's a job. At the end of the day, I don't people care. The people who worked, the people who worked at our switch had a job. It's a horrible job. Yeah, I'm just saying you, you don't need to do that job. Well, You've compared Artsbridge to a dairy farm there, which is... No, I haven't. Nothing similar. No, two bad things, right? Just because... I'm, what I'm trying to say is just because something is a... Okay, if you want to... If you can't take an analogy, I'm saying just because something is a job, that doesn't morally justify it. People who worked at our switch just had a job. You, you could have a horrible, horrible job, and just because it's a job, it doesn't morally justify it. You know what I mean? I, I, I get your theory, but realistically... Dairy, it's not, you know, we're not so, like the opposite. We're not, farmers are not like the officers at Auschwitz. I'm, I'm not, not saying. saying <sighs> and we're not, and we're not. I know bro, I, I wasn't, I was pay. making a job analogy. You said it's a job. I, I was talking about morality. That dairy cows, you make out that they live horrible lives and they, and they really don't. You know, that. Excuse me, mate. I, I, okay, we can go to their lives, right? We can go to their lives. But you told me that dairy farmers do this because they care about the cows. That's what you tried to tell me. A lot of the time, because they care about the animals, because and they love the job. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of the time. Uh, yeah, bro. But like, but like, um, you tried to tell me that's you tried to make that case for the dairy industry actually. So I've got I'm re I've got this all, like I can re re this gets saved to TikTok. I can just go back and listen to what you said, right? But um, you then said it's a job. So that's why you do it. It's a job. A job is where you work for money. Okay, yeah. We, we don't get paid that much as farmers. Then do another job, dude. No, because we love the job. You love the job that much? Like, you love? do you love sending your dairy cows to the slaughterhouse? Do you love that part of the job? Well, there's, there's, certain, there's parts of the job that... There's no parts that I don't... I hate, but there's parts of the job that I look at and I think I, I do. They don't get. Yeah, I'm going to say I love the job as a whole. Yes, I do love working on a dairy farm. I love. You That's know, not what I asked, Charlie. Why are you weaseling out of the question? I said, do you love taking your dairy cows to the slaughterhouse? Well, they would. Well, as in when they when they finish their lactation cycles and stuff like that uh, do you know where they go i know where they go 50 percent of the beef comes from dairy cows in this country i'm saying do you love that part of the job do you love the fact that dairy farmers all over the world send their their their, their beloved dairy cows that they love so much to a slaughterhouse well, we, send them off, we send them off at the end of life to go to beef yeah at end of life oh really end of life yeah how long does a cow live well, it can vary on breed to breed. On oh God, come on. You you don't like answering questions, do you, mate? How long generally does a cow live? Just give me a ballpark. You know so much about cows. As in, 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 
probably because they can they can live anywhere from they can live up to sort of fifteen years, even on a dairy farm. Look, brother, like I'm just saying, like generally, in a cow, a cow lives up to is it twenty to 20, 20, twenty to twenty five years? If, if they are, if they are, if they're not being exploited every day for their milk and having the calves taken from them, you know, yeah, maybe they live longer. No, I don't know. I'm if they, twenty is an extreme. I think fit around fifteen, fifteen to seventeen. Maybe, maybe. you've only had experiences f- from cows that are constantly in calf or preg or, or being milked. You know, and uh, maybe their lifespan is a little bit less. But what what age do you send your car, uh, cows off to be slaughtered? I want to know. What age do you send your cows to be slaughtered, Charlie? Has he has he gone? Charlie, aha, uh-huh, he didn't run. Okay, well there we go. Uh, let me try to accept him again. Charlie, accept. <laughs> Thought you ran, Charlie. I, th- I, th- I thought you ran away, mate. I was getting very dis. I was pretty disappointed, actually. But the real. I, I know. I just lost connection. The Wi-Fi around here is absolute shit. Okay. Okay. You lost connection, but are you going to answer the question? What was your question again? Sorry. You remember, can't you? I actually can't. What was it? Oh, that's convenient. I said, uh, "What age do you send your cows?" I, I don't. What? I don't think I heard it. At what age do you send your cows off to be slaughtered? What age that the age they go off can vary. Uh, I'm just, yeah okay okay generally just give me a ballpark. Well, as I said, it 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 is such a variety. Like, you know, above ten years old, a lot of them, you know, ten to fifteen. Um, but obviously, awesome. if they're and this is you know this isn't gonna sound nice, but if they're if they're ill and they're sick, then you, we'd send them off earlier because that's realistically the kindest thing to do if they're sick okay well wait a second what what type of what, what do you mean sick so you know they can catch pneumonia um you know we can't help that if they catch it tb oh, really? um you know we TB? can't help, help pardon how often do they get tb these days dude well it depends it vary it, it can vary because obviously you get tb vulnerable zone yeah. so you know it oh, yeah. where you live. Uh, and what about mastitis and that mastitis that just comes about that's just from hygiene that can be old age. That can be anything. And do you cull them because of mastitis? It just develops. Do you cull them because of mastitis? No. So with mastitis, um, it can be treated. Um, we we give them antibiotics. Their milk does not go into the tank when they're on antibiotics. Okay. Do Do you think that they cull uh, dairy cows because of mastitis in the dairy industry in the UK? Well, if it gets I'm bad cu- enough, I'm they curious if will, you know. They can get very very sick from it. Okay, um, and, and do you know what percentage of, of that I've seen? Sweetie, where's that? Where's that, 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 that data from the AHDB? Um, I think it? it's about twenty percent of our of cows are culled because of mastitis. Yeah, the the the, the reasons for culling. So, what was that percentage? I think it's uh, over twenty percent of the 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 reason for cull in the dairy herd is mastitis. I think um, what it will be, what that will be. Well, this is from the this is from the AHDB, mate. So that's uh, do you know who the AHDB are? AHDB, yeah, they are the, yeah, they do. Yeah, they're farmers. Cultural, horticultural. Yeah, so it's not vegan propaganda, brah. Hey, it's not vegan propaganda. Um, so where is the where is? And to be honest, uh, if you kill, huh. if you do kill, uh, t- cattle, okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, let me have a look it, here. It's the like cattle the welfare report in the sense that it stops the spread of mastitis in the herd. Um, so we, where's the reason for coal here? Um, but anyways, so, but can you find it for me? Uh, so basically do you think, so, so do do you, you, you know, Charlie, how you're speaking for most of the dairy industry, defending the dairy industry in the Uh, UK. Um, okay. All right. No, no, no. You're their spokesperson right now. You put yourself in that position. I'm not their spokesperson. I never claimed to be. Yeah, you did. You did. You said you were going to speak for dairy. There are reasons why we do certain things. You were said you were going to speak for dairy. Okay. Mastitis is, okay. Sorry. Sorry. I got that wrong. I oh, know, so so you have a leaving total herd, so they just cull them some off, um, just just because they are probably being replaced. Uh, that's twenty nine percent, twenty five percent are because they're not no, seeing no. bullying. We we uh, the, when you when, with that one, we... I'm just showing you the data. That's all. Do you want do you want to see this? Do you want to see, see this? this? I, don't I mean, know. this is the AHDB a- uh, report. Um, okay, go on. Okay, go on. Uh, I'm just showing you data, dude. I'm not trying to give you my opinion. Eleven percent from mastitis. That was a bit high. Um, yeah, but 30% of the, 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 the mastitis, we do that to stop the spread. 
Okay, and uh, yeah, you just kill him, eh? Just kill him. Just kill him, eh? If, listen, if it gets bad enough, it, most mastitis yeah. that I've seen can be treated. You know, it might just be pus from the from the others, yeah. and that obviously doesn't go into the And tank. that does that go into the milk, does it, bro? No, it doesn't, no. Oh, so really? They don't... Are, oh, really? <laughs> are you, are you saying... <laughs> Are you telling me that they don't have uh, something called somatic cells? Do you know what somatic cells are? If you let me speak, I will explain. You said no. You're lying. It doesn't go, it doesn't into, go into the milk. Because, because it's ha you know, there, there, are, there are a few reasons why it doesn't. One, it wouldn't actually get into the tank in the first place because... because you, are, uh, you don't know what you're talking about, Charlie. I'm sorry, mate. I'm not saying... I'm asking you if there's any... I'm asking you if there's any somatic cells in the milk. They have a limit. That means that there's some. Yeah, but not enough to hurt anyone. I'm not asking, and that's not what I, uh, dude, I never, you straw manning me. I never said, is there enough somatic cells in there to hurt anyone? I asked you if there's somatic cells in milk. They, we know there's a legal limit, which is like, what is it in the, in the EU? It's 400,000, wait, what was we it? We used to, I think, like you said, there's a limit for government, but there's a, there'll be contract limits. So it depends who you're contracted with. Uh, okay, I'm just saying that there uh, there is somatic cells in milk, and you said no, there's not. No, no, like, bro, do you do you, you listen to yourself? I'm just saying, do you, and you want to let me let you want me to let you finish, but you just told me at the start there's no somatic cells in milk. So what do I do? I'm going, what the fuck? Yeah, like, is you he? asked if there was mastitis in milk. Somatic cells. I said it repeatedly, dude. Yeah, but you said mastitis. And then you went on to somatic cells. Okay, well, you know, like, like, okay, bro. Like, did I ask you if there's somatic cells in the milk, bro? In, there is a limit for pesticides in plants. That that means they're still. But anyways, uh, I don't know why we're debating somatic cells. We're just f figuring out, like, like you um, brought it up. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, because they cull cows for because of mastitis. Um, basically, and they cull cows because they're not bullying for 25% of them. And I just want to know that this is what I want to know. We're talking about reasons for culling dairy cows, basically. Um, lameness is one of them as well. If they're lame, they can lame cull them. 10% of dairy cows are, c are culled in 2019. 10% were, were removed from the herd because of lameness, which means sent, sent to the slaughterhouse. Yeah, that means that they were bad enough where they couldn't walk. So, they so but what's the average age that they, they're killed in the UK? Pardon? What's that? What did you say? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. What's, What's the, the average, average age they're cow? What, a dairy cow? Yeah. It's, it's a, it, like I said, I think... I'm av average, bro. Average. What, what was, was that? that? I said, I think usually it's about 10 to 15, but it probably can be lower because obviously it depends on if they're sick or not. Where did you get that data from? I'm just guessing now. I, I'm, I'm, so you're pulling it out of thin air? Because this is from personal. No, bro, 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 bro. No, 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 no. I know about Are you are you pulling that number out of thin air? No, I'm pulling it from my experience. So you're talking about your own personal anecdote. And the anecdotes of plenty of other farmers. No, 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 no. So other anecdotes from other little small backyard farmers. I want to know what Jerry, we're not small backyard farmers. We keep pretty much keep this nation running. Oh, do you? That's very noble, mate. Oh, so without dairy, we couldn't run as a nation. No, no, no. I'm telling you. It, we... What the hell are you talking about, dude? Listen, like, we can't we run without dairy. To keep this nation running. So without dairy, the nation wouldn't run. Food production. Who? How do people eat? Bro, 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 bro. No, 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 no. Dairy. No, no. I'm talking agriculture in general now. No, no, no. You are talking about dairy. We are talking about dairy. We're debating about dairy. It's a form of agriculture. No, 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 no. I want to know, would the country still run without dairy, bro? Well, we'd have to import a lot of it. And what, what, why? No, 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 no. No, without dairy at all. Well, not really, no, because people still drink milk. Why not? Milk. I know, I know just fine. Wait, 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 wait. We're all going to go vegan. We day, need so to drink milk. Okay. okay. Well, the, the average age of exit is 6.7 years. And uh, that's not me saying that, bro. Sorry, 6.7. That's 7. the data. Sorry, bro? 6.7, so about six, six and a half. Well, that'll be because that that will be brought down because of illnesses and stuff like that, and TB and you know. Yeah, whatever, dude. Whatever, mate. That's the average age they kill the cows. Whatever, dude. That's the average age they kill the cows. All right, because they they give them about three or four carvings. They give them about three or four carvings usually. So when they go into calf, about 30 I've months seen, old. I've, I've seen more, but yeah, on average about three or four, yeah. Oh, I don't care if you've seen more, dude. I've seen people, I've, I've seen the Himsa dairies where they don't even kill the cows at all. That, that, that doesn't represent dairy. 
These are isolated incidences. I'm talking about the, what the majority of the data represents in the dairy industry in the UK. And they are culled at about six and a half years of age on average. And that means they could be less. It could be more. But on average, it's six and a half years. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, well, I'll accept that. Six, six and a half, fine. But like I said, that is, that is because, you know, you can't look at that as black and white. There are reasons. For yeah, it. you accept it, bro. But you're the dairy expert here and you started telling me 10 to 15. So you you, you don't know what you're talking about, brother. This is what, so you've, you've just gone on about mastitis and why cows. You don't know what you're kill. talking about when it comes to the majority of dairy. Listen, li just listen. What you've just talked about, right? They can be killed for, like you've just showed the list there for many reasons. I ask you the average age of, I ask you the average age. Now, the reason I'm asking you that is because I asked you, do dairy farmers love sending their cows to the slaughterhouse? Because you said they do it for the love. No, we, we do the job for the love. We love looking okay. after animals. We love so do you love sending cows to the slaughterhouse? That's what I want to know. Well, we have to. It's a part of the job we have to do. Do you enjoy doing that? No. It's not that we hate doing it. Of course, we don't enjoy it. We, you know, we put all our a lot of time. We put a lot of effort into these cows, and, and we do. And yeah, we do build connections with them. And some of them, some of them are friendly. So some you of care them, about they them? Don't really want to, you know, they're not scared of us. They don't really want to have anything to do with us. And that's fair enough. So we let them Charlie, do what they want to do. like, I'm just asking you, mate. Like, you care about these cows, and some of them you care about, and you send them to the slaughterhouse. Well, I, care, I a lot of the cow. I I, can, I work on a dairy farm. And a lot of the cows that are on that dairy farm, I I care for as if they're my pets. You care for them like they're your own pets? A lot of those cows I care for them as if they're own pets. You know, if they're sick, I'm constantly on the phone. To okay, them. yeah, okay, that's that's great. Better. And you send them to the slaughterhouse? If it gets to that point, yes. If we have to, we will. And what do you mean have to? You know, if they're sick, you know, put it, it's, you know, if they're really sick, for instance. Oh, wow. So, so you send them to the slaughterhouse when they're really sick? You don't get a vet to come and put them down? No, listen. A vet, no, if they're really sick on a farm, a lot of the time a vet will come and put them down because that's just the, you know. If, Which if one is it, bro? Pardon? Pardon? Which one is it? When, when they're you... really sick, you put them down or you send them to the slaughterhouse or you send them to the slaughterhouse when they don't produce milk anymore? Pardon? Pardon? Which, Which is it? Do you, does the vet come and euthanize them and they go to a happy place and they go to the... Again, it can be either. It depends they go on to the farm. Uh, okay. And the majority of the time... And the, bro, 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 you're acting like you're a nurse for the animals. It's hilarious. I want to, I want to say, I want to, I want to ask you, where do the majority of them go? They go to the slaughterhouse to get killed for beef, don't they? Well, yeah, that's where cows would go to get. So why are you acting like you're a nurse and you're you're getting them like euthanasia when they're sick? Like we, you're doing. We, what we will do is we'll get a vet out to have a look at them, and the vet yeah, will brother. Them, do what they can. But if they can't be helped, they have to go to the slaughterhouse. What else you do? Let them. Live. Why would you send? A, why would you send a, a pet that you love to the slaughterhouse to be shot in the head and have their throat cut open? Well, no. Again, you you get all. There is that is a, that is a way. Dude, of that's, that's crazy. Allowed, allowed when they slit their throats. No, they slit all the animals. Do you know what happens in a slaughterhouse? No, they, they, they don't. They don't. They don't slit their throats. They don't slit cows' throats in a slaughterhouse. Pardon? So you're telling me now that they don't slit cows' throats in a slaughterhouse? That's halal. That's not how they do normal. That's halal me. Okay, so how do they get the blood out of the cows after they bolt them in the head? Well, they'll be dead then. They don't get that. No, no, no. I asked you, how do they get the blood out of the cow after they bolt them well, in the head? They'll make an incision somewhere. and uh, Where? Where? Drain them. I don't where know. would they put the incision? I don't know. I don't know where they make the incision. So you I don't even know how cows are like slaughtered, said, but I you care about them so much. They don't work in a slaughterhouse. Oh, so but so you don't know anything about how you, the animals you love so much about where you're sending them. You don't know, know anything stunned, about that. I know they're stunned and I know they're hung. You've never been stuff. in the slaughterhouse. You just told me. Pardon? Pardon? You've never been in the slaughterhouse. You told me. No, I've not been to one as of yet. No. So then, how the hell do you know what goes on in there, bro? Because I you know just take their word for it. I know people that work in them, and oh, no, no, no. I know so if you care about your, I know owners of slaughterhouses and all that sort of stuff, and you know they are yes. They are drained. Their blood is drained out of them. Yes. How? How is the blood drained, bro? I don't work in a butcher. I don't know. Oh well. I, well, then why are you telling me they don't have their throat slit if you don't know? Pardon? Why are you telling me they don't have their throat slit? What you're trying to do is you say they're, they're alive when they have their throat slit. I know. I know. I didn't. I said they get bolt gunned in the head and have their throat slit. No, they're stunned. They're not. 
yeah, bolt gun sometimes, but sometimes it's electric. Oh, right? dude, you're hilarious, mate. Like, are you serious or are you taking the piss, mate? Like, like you don't know anything like, about this. I'm, I'm serious, Charlie. Like, you don't know anything about the slaughter of these cows. They, they might have their throats to, to, clip, to drain their blood, yeah. yeah. They, so they get their throats slit. So what does that matter? They're dead at that point. I'm, I'm just, just saying, bro, they're not always stunned correctly, but ma let's just say the majority of the time they are. They go into that place, right? The cows that you love, right? And uh, if you're going to try to tell me that that's an enjoyable experience for them, uh, then uh, you are living in a fairy tale dream. And you can't say that because you've never watched hey, them be slaughtered. You're, you're acting as if cows are like humans, as, as if they're caught, that, you know, they're, they're brains. Since when? Like humans. Cows a lot of times really don't. They're very chilled out animals and they don't know anything's happened. They're innocent, innocent, aren't they? They're, they're vulnerable, vulnerable, easy easy to control, control, aren't they, cows? No, I can tell you from experience, cows are not easy to control. Oh, really? Yeah. So they don't, they like, are, want to be milked? They're, they're six, they're, they're, they don't, you can't train they're cows to be milked? Up to a ton that, you know, if they come for you, they'll go for you. But uh, all, all I'm saying, bro, is that cows are, they're, they're terrified of people. They're gentle and they're, they're, they're terrified. I've been in dairy farms and they they are they are terrified, dude. Tell me why. Whenever I go, and again, this is I personally I don't, but I can tell you from a lot of other experiences, a lot of other farms. You know, you look on YouTube. Even just looking on YouTube, look at dairy farms on YouTube. The only time a dairy cow attacks anyone is if they're taking her car from her. That's the only footage I've ever seen. No, no, not always. No, not oh really? They don't, oh really? If they the only time oh, they really? attack someone is if they don't know them. Yeah, mate. If they know the farmer. I've been in. Uh, uh, how come I've never been attacked by a dairy cow? Cows have do have a conscience sometimes. They how often have you been attacked by a dairy cow? cow? Pardon? Pardon? How many times have you been attacked at the dairy farm then by cows? I've been. Let me have a think. Um, oh, if you have to think about it, it must have been a lot, eh? Uh, no, a couple of times. It, it's, it's. Was it an accident or deliberate? A lot of the time is when I first started on these farms and they don't know me and I'm acting as if I've acted on the old farms and they don't know you and they, they don't attack you necessarily, but they'll look okay. at you and they'll sort of... So they don't attack you. you. But as soon as, they, as soon as they get to know you, they're completely fine with you. So they don't attack you. They're just wary of you. Wow, that's, that's a hell different though. You said they attack you. Attack. I wouldn't say attack. I would say... Oh, well, then, you, well, then why'd you say it, dude? <sighs> But they then why did you say it, man? Them. Like it, it, it's it's weird to me, man, Charlie. Because like, you sound like a good enough dude, right? But what you're saying to me, um, I can't. I'm, it's I'm finding it super hard to take you actually seriously. Because you you make it's almost like you're trying your hardest to make things up so that you really make dairy seem like this beautiful experience for cows, right? You you've never seen them be slaughtered. The, your cows you care about so much, you know. It seems to me like you're just trying your hardest to justify it without being honest about it. You no, because what you're really doing on, on, when I say something, you know, you say something like you're putting words in my mouth, and and you're not actually letting me speak some of the time, but you're putting words in my mouth, yeah. And you're saying you're saying you know the way you the context of what you say of what you know not you specifically but generally in in anything <clears> that you say. It, it, it's all about context so i'll say something and you'll say it differently but because of the way you said it 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 makes it sound completely opposite to the way i've said it yeah because yeah. you you like to use euphemisms and make it sound a little bit nicer i like to explain exactly what happens and you don't like to do that you avoid doing that at all costs I said it's context. so you say oh they're you know the dairy cows uh, the calves are torn away from their mothers they're not a lot of the time they're calmly picked up and gone to put in it <laughs> I've heard you say it before on lives. Maybe not. The they are torn away. Well, 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 wait a second. Like plenty of like plenty of vegans say it, and they they also oh they're torn yeah, away so, from their mother. Okay. The mother's crying, and then so you gently steal the calf away from the mother. We don't steal anything. They don't belong to you. Those calves. Do you think the calves belong to you? In your mind, do they, those calves are they your calves in your mind? Well, then they belong to the farm. Oh, so they're the farmer's calves. Yeah, and if we okay. if we take we t as I said because you, they're your, your property, property eh? The calves. I haven't really understood. And if you, we take there's reasons we do certain things. Like I said, we don't want the calves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Calves. yeah, we know the reason you are financially motivated as a business. That's why you breed them to begin with. I said to you, there's not much money in farming. You know, and I and as I just said to you, do you think the farmers are just doing this because they love the animals? 
they, farmers do their job because they love the animals, they love the job, they love all. And the they don't, they don't care about the money, basically. The, the dairy industry. Listen, I can tell you for a fact, as someone who works on a farm, you know, no one I know who's a farmer is makes really, any money. Has really got that much money, and there's not a lot of money. I'm not. I, no, 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 dude. Like, they're making a living off of farming. Yeah, we just about get by. Just about. So you just you just uh, scraping by doing the one of the hardest jobs imaginable. Yeah, it's probably de agriculture is is a very difficult industry to work in. But there is long hours, you know. So so the dairy industry is not a profitable industry at all. There is a a very very small profit. Sometimes they may even make okay. a lot. So so basically, are you making this claim for all of dairy? Jump between the between above and beyond. Sorry, below and above the profit line. Are you making this claim for the dairy industry in the UK? Because that's, that's what, what we're, we're talking, talking about. about. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the dairy industry in the UK just is not profitable. They there just, is what it is. There, there. Well, farmers so it's not a business. It's just they do it. All the dairy farmers, right? This is what I want to know. All the dairy farmers in the UK, the whichever, like just collectively, they're actually. If you grab them all, all of the dairy farmers in the whole of the UK, they're not doing it for money. They're all doing it because they actually just, just care about them, the, the job. job. They a care about the job. Yeah, a lot of them do it because they care about the job. Because, as I've said, no, 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 no. Is not a industry, really. <laughs> That's not what I said, dude. There, a there lot of them do it because they care about the job. I asked if the dairy industry as a whole in the UK is financially motivated or they just do it. They love the job. There is, if you look at. If you look at pri uh, not private farmers, if you look at standalone <clears throat> farmers in themselves, local farmers, you know, your local lad up the road, he runs 100 cows to a dairy. No, I don't care about the local lad, dude. I'm talking about the UK is the 13th largest milk producer in the world. Milk accounted for 16.4% of total agricultural output in the UK and was worth 4.4 billion pounds in market now, prices. Divide that, now, divide that up between how many farmers there are in the UK, dairy farmers. Okay, there's twelve thousand. You know, on average, we're getting paid thirty. But it's not; it doesn't get divided like that. Um, but I'm asking you about the dairy industry as a whole. It's not financially. You, you think that that you're all just getting we get buttons? we get pay, we get paid on. You know, again, it depends on contract. On average, if you're uh, conventional milk, not organic, if you're conventional, you get paid mm -hmm. thirty to thirty-five per litre. So what you're telling me then is that you could easily just because you're not making any money and it's quite hard work, actually, you could easily easily just not do it. Yeah, we could, but we and you could probably make. Could you make more money in another job? That's what I want to know. You can't. What you're saying, you you couldn't just if every farmer in the UK just dropped. No, you dairy farmer. You Charlie. Yeah. You Charlie. I'm trying to find out if you could make more money in another in another job. Do you have your own dairy farm, or you just work on a dairy farm? I work on a dairy farm, but I, I, and yes, I listen, I'll be okay. honest. I could make more money somewhere else. I All right. Now, well, like, but, but, but I mean, I this, the job. This, this only applies to like people who have their own dairy farm. Cause you seem like, I thought you had your own dairy farm, but you don't no, you just no, work at one. No, I, I, I mean, I did say at the start I worked on one. Maybe I didn't make that clear enough. But no, you I did just mention it once before. But like, look, so really what you're saying is these, so you basically know what income each farmer gets. Yeah. No, because it varies. Okay. So what I'm saying is, what I want, from, from your perspective, you believe, like truly, that the dairy industry operates out of care for the job, not because of any financial, not because of fine, like primarily financial uh, reasons. If, you, if you're a family farmer, because I know a lot of, a lot of people. Nah, 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 bro. You tripping, bro. I said the dairy industry. In the UK, the dairy industry. Do you know what that means? It's this this whole entity. Do you mean? Yeah. Do you mean you know free range dairy? Or I'm talking about the the what represents uh the the, the entire dairy industry. Me, what dairy is, and you ask me to explain dairy. It's cows out yeah. in the field. Give you know, free range dairy. It's in the field. Come in. You know, they're in the milking parlor for. 20 minutes max and they're back out again and they're living outside they let, eat the grass we you know we grow the grass you, for them so what i want to 
No, bro. If all this is done for the love, right, then why would you breed animals into existence just to kill them uh, well, for the love? Them, like, we don't just, have to kill them. Money. Yeah, you do. Of course they kill them. Well, they... You, realistically, what are you going to do with it? If, right, put it this way, and I know that a lot of people say this. If you, you just show me one of your own videos again, mate. Again, mate. Yeah, I'm just saying, uh, do they do this for the love? I just want to know. What, what, are you trying, what are you trying to make a point of here? What, I'm just asking you if this dairy farm does it for the love. That's intensive, is it? I'm just asking you if this dairy farm does it for the love. Well, I don't know the farmer, so I wouldn't know. Then why are you making a claim about the dairy industry? I'm making a claim about the majority of the dairy industry. As I've said, there's bad parts okay. of everyone. So th these, yeah. So, um, okay. So essentially, um, that's cool. That's you have your own uh, worldview about it. I, I actually can't. I, I can't prove to you the motivations for farmers. All I can tell you is dairy is a multi-billion-dollar industry, right? And it sounds insane that people would just go out there and do it for the love. And then, um, it's interesting that you say that it's not financially motivated. That means they don't actually. They really don't have to do it. They're doing it as a hobby kind of thing or for for a passion. Words into my mouth here. What I've said is the primary. Listen, there is all, every every job you do. You, there is going to be an aspect of money to it because you know you need money to to live you need money to buy stuff but i don't have a problem with money necessarily by the way those, but dairy as a whole uh, not as a whole the, a lot of the dairy industry don't get you know if you're a private farmer don't get paid that much to on farm okay then the, i don't know why they're exploiting and killing animals for for fun for like some passion when they don't have to that seems a bit weird it's, it's cycle of how we produce food that's the food production cycle. So you're saying we can't produce food without cows? We can't. If you wanted to feed everyone just off, off crops and veg and all that sort of stuff, you couldn't do it. Oh, really? Do, do you have any data to support your claim? Soils have a lifespan. I'm just asking you if you have data to support your claim. You made a claim. No. no. So, so can you... What was the claim? What was the claim? You said we we couldn't feed everyone off plants and vegetables. You made a claim. Do you have evidence? Think about it. No, 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 no. If you make a claim without evidence, you know I can, I can just dismiss it without evidence. And again, someone might have to research this, but I think it's two thirds of land isn't suitable for crop production in the UK because it's on hills, because of you know you can't get to it or whatever. It's not suitable for crop production. What do you do with that land? Let it sit dormant. Yeah, or do you grow, yeah. you grow beef and sheep and lambs and grow there and produce good quality, not you know, good, good quality. Like, not, what do you mean good quality, good dude? Quality. Free range, free range, chopped up animals. Good, it's good quality. Okay, so, so um, you said that we couldn't feed everyone on plants. Is that your claim? That was your claim. I don't have to ask you. That was what you said. We ca we can't feed everyone on plants. Yeah. Well, you're, you're getting whispered by someone else. Why don't you just answer the questions yourself? So say that again. Someone's whispering to you. Why don't you just answer the question yourself? You said you can't feed everyone on plants. She wasn't whispering about that. She wasn't giving me that. She was just telling. She was just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. She was telling me to leave it, but I'm not leaving it because. Okay, well, that's good. You're passionate about defending dairy and def defending. Listen, 36 percent of the UK land is croppable and that's a fact okay so she's sending she's googling it up for you 36 so percent okay. and how much and how many calories can you produce off that 36 percent how many people could you feed not i would i, I don't know. okay well then why are you why are you telling me that like why do i care if you don't know how many calories per acre or how many calories per... so, only 36 percent of the land is croppable yeah Okay, so what do I how care? Many people, how many people in the UK? I care how many. I, I care if you can feed the population of thirty six percent of the land. It would be very, very difficult. How do you know that? You don't even know the the empirics on it. You'd have to put. In you, don't the, you, don't the, the, you don't even know the. You don't even know the. You don't even know. Sorry, brother. You don't even know the empirics on it. You're it's making. Common sense. It's, it's not common sense. Yeah. yeah. It's not common sense. I'll but tell so you listen, why. Listen. listen. Fertilizer increases yield, yes? Sorry. We can agree so, on that. 
You put um, fertilizer on land. You in crops. You produce. You don't you know. Uh, you don't even know how much, how many calories thirty six percent of land could produce. So you don't even know if thirty six percent of land could feed the entire of the UK twice over. You don't know that. It depends what crop you grow, because different crops give, give different calories. Well, you don't even know. So why would I? Why are you making a claim without knowing? There's a certain amount of calories in a ton of barley. There's a certain, of, a certain amount of calories in a ton of wheat. There's, you know, there's, it's different because it's a different crop. So you've yeah, said yeah. to me, oh, how many calories you grow from that thirty six percent? I don't know. It could vary because it depends on the crop. Yeah, yeah. Well, all I'm saying, bro, is you're saying we can't live. We we couldn't we couldn't feed the population on plants. That's what you claim. Was. It would be so. Very, so right now, right? We, do you do you know we're growing enough plants to feed? A bunch of animals and humans. Do you think those animals are just gr they're just grazing on a non-arable land? No, I know we feed. You know, we yeah, we feed barley, we feed oats, and we. Oh, no. I can't hear you. Your, your mic. Sorry, my mic got. Yeah, we do. And I, I'll admit, you we feed barley to to cows. Oh, just, just barley. Just barley. Just barley. Pardon? Is it just barley? Is it? Well, it 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 the it the stuff. It doesn't make it to the shops a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, no, look, bro. The, I'm just talking about the, uh, worldwide. We the, um, worldwide. Um, uh, are we just talking about the UK? Because uh, worldwide, do we just be, feed barley to, to, to no, cows? No, I'm talking about the UK. To pigs, to chickens? And we do, okay. we do feed okay. other, other, other... And what about chickens and pigs? What do we feed them? Grass? Wheat. Silage? Wheat. No. Wheat. And, uh, and, and, and um, grains, yeah? And soya, and, and yeah? And proteins and different... And you soya. Know, minerals and stuff. Soya, yeah. But and soya from soya. the Amazon. Soya yeah. is being... Soya okay. Is being, is so they import... Okay. Like so they import... Okay. okay. So they import grains to feed pigs and chickens, yeah? No. Yes, they do. No. <laughs> Are you saying they don't import grains to feed pigs and chickens? I'm not saying that they don't complete... They don't. They do sometimes. But if you look what at... What are you talking about? They, they, they import... Grow, they, will grow their own, they will grow their own. They'll have their own... No, grow their yeah, own I know that. Their own wheat, whatnot. I know they do, but that, that doesn't um, feed the entire uh, like flock of chickens. 40,000, 50,000 flock of chickens. What do you mean? There's like 50,000 in a shed, six sheds on a, on a farm. Do you know what chicken farming looks like in the UK? It's like crazy, dude. What, do you think they can grow enough uh, grain to feed all those chickens year round? They import it. We could, I, I, yeah, obviously there is some, some, some of it is imported. I'll okay, so I, what I'm trying, I'm trying to say, to say to you, Charlie, the majority, you, you're... the majority of it is, is okay, like grown see. on farm or grown. Majority, do you have the empirical data for that? Pardon? Pardon? You're saying the majority of the feed that the farm animals in the UK. The grain, the wheat and the barley and whatnot. I'm and just saying, grain. you said the majority of the food that fa that the farmed animals in the UK eat is grown in the UK. I words in my mouth. I said the grain. If you look the at majority, the majority, okay, the majority of the grain that the animals eat is grown in the UK. Is that the claim? Don't, I will admit some of it might, yeah, might, some of it will be imported, but if you look at a lot of it, it's grown on farm and they're fed. The yeah, I've seen there. farms that grow Don't crops. I'm just saying. Supermarkets, supermarkets have, you know, we, we sometimes feed potatoes because they're the potatoes so, that brother, don't make it to the shop because they're too big or they're too small or they're not the yeah. right shape. Look, mate, like all I'm saying, right, is that we grow enough plants to feed uh, the seven to eight billion human beings and also the 80 billion land animals and the uh, multiple billion farmed fish, right? Um, so we grow enough plants... No, it's about fish, to be honest. I'm a... Okay, well, all I'm saying is uh, we, we grow, grow enough... enough... We grow enough plant food right we use enough arable land to grow enough uh plant food to harvest to give to these animals right and i know some of it's not edible for humans i know that but a lot of it is it's just grains and beans soya things like this um yeah i'm just saying that uh the 83 percent of the world's farmland is used for animal agriculture and uh if we we all ate a plant-based diet we could reduce it by the the world's farmland by seventy five percent. If you want to see the study, I can just uh, show it to you, and you can have a look at it. It was the biggest, most comprehensive study on farming and um, resources I think ever done. The biggest analysis to date. So, what I'm saying to you, bro. I mean, I can show it to you if you like. So, I'm getting my cameras all mixed up. Um, do you want to see it? 
do you want to see the study? Yeah, go on. Um, I'm just, uh, you don't have to, it's just, it's up to you. But, uh, no, you, you know, you can just, it's called, uh, so it's the biggest analysis to date reveals huge, it's not an article actually, this article was based off of a, a study. No, we're not talking about, we, we're talking about your claim, we're talking about your claim that you can't feed the world on plants. I'm saying that 83% of farmland is used for animal agriculture, just meat and dairy, right? And we could reduce it by 75% if we all adopted a, a vegan diet, right? Okay. Now, um, you just said we couldn't feed the world on plants. We could actually reduce the world's farmland by three quarters if we... um. If we fed the world on plants, that would increase the you know the climate change problem because... You know, evidence? Do you have evidence? Well, well, wait a second. Wait a second. Or your beloved whatever milk it is. You've got to import that. So if we were in the UK, you've got to import that soy from South. They're America. importing soya, soya for the chicken feed. feed I just told no, you no, from, no, from so Amazon. A lot, of soy, a lot of the we have we have the byproduct of the production of soy milk. Soya, soy? soya is soya is is imported. Some of it goes to your soy milk, your whatever. whatever. Some of it no, it does. We eat, the soya we eat doesn't come from the Amazon generally. It comes from the EU. You know, you right. Well, okay. I just, I've just got. You know, I don't know. What you... you know, the soya can only be grown. Well, not only be grown, but soya is grown a lot of time in rainforests. It's been deforested. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Most of that soya is being grown. I think ninety percent of the the soya in the Amazon is being fed to cows. Actually, soya is bad for the environment. You Wait, is it? Disagree. What with did that? I see this? So, so basically, um. So eighty-three. So meat and dairy uh, produces sixty percent of agriculture's greenhouse gas emissions. Talk about what I've just said, or so animal agriculture or meat and dairy produce sixty percent of agriculture's greenhouse ga gas emissions. Sixty percent. So, and I'm saying to you, we could reduce the Earth's farmland by seventy-five percent. So we'd need less land uh, to produce more calories, um, or the same amount of calories. We'd need less land. Um, and uh, you're using soy as an argument, which is interesting because 77% of the world's soy is fed to animals in animal agriculture. So, um, that's... We have the byproduct from your soy milk. What? You know, we, we, we use that because, you know, your soy milk... You? Who's we? Gotta use some of that. Who's we? That, that... For, for, uh, if we feed animals soy... So you feed so animals soy? And you're worried about my soy consumption yeah. and you feed the animals again, soy? Farms, uh, a lot of farms, Are you worried about my soy consumption? They know, it, they know that soy is not good for the environment. Oh, really? Oh, really? So you just admitted farmers um, use soy. Uh, you don't have to, but, but you, do you, you use, use soy? soy? The cows at, at the farm? Okay, then why'd you say we use soy? Farmers, I was talking just... Far, there are some farms that use soy, some farms... So you're saying we as like, you're this collective group, like, which is interesting. You think you represent... It's on one little word I've said, I'm trying to talk... No, because when you say we, we, we use soy... soy now. A lot of farms, fine. A lot of farms are trying to come off soy because they know it's bad for the environment. They're, they're trying to... Well then, bro, most of the soy... Most of the soy is fed to animals. Pardon? The majority of soy is fed to animals, bro. Yeah. Like seventy seven percent. Look it up, dude. Like you've got your phone there. Just look it up. Why are you even arguing with me I'm about not, it? Listen, I'm not disputing that a lot of soy is fed to animals. I'm not It's not a lot, it's the vast majority of it, dude. Is, is It's the vast majority of it, brother. That the the that soy is Why would used, I care? In, you know, your your vegan milks as well. So you know you like, why would I care? It's not damaging to have a little bit of soy. It's damaging to have most of the soy being grown in the Amazon and destroying the Amazon to be fed to bloody chickens so people can have one bit of chicken. It's not It's not predominantly grown for chickens, though. It, 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 it's that not, is it's predominantly the, grown for well, animals, that's cows, that's and chickens, that's pigs. Goes down. Again. Brother, you don't know what you're talking about, mate. If you don't think most of the soy is, is grown for chickens, cows, and pigs, then I don't know what to tell you, mate. So... But anyway, um, so we, let's round this up because... Uh, right, well, one thing we haven't spoken about is, is like what well, we just touched on then. I just wanted to have a quick... Environmentally, you know, what, what's your opinion on... I know what your opinion would be, but I just want to hear your sort of your reasoning behind it. Um, what's your opinion on, on, you know, is it... I know you're going to say yes, but what's your reasoning? Is it best to, for the planet to go vegan? I just, I just said... said um, um, like, if we wanted to reduce, 
if we wanted to reduce the Earth's farmland by 75%, and I uh, think it was 60% of the greenhouse gases were being caused by meat and dairy, um, this, and uh, this is not what I think. This isn't my opinion. This study, man, this study um, of 40,000 farms in 119 countries... Uh, wait, wait, one second, bro. You, you asked me for my um, opinion. I was going to just tell you it. Um, look at the travel industry. Look at this. Look at that. Just wait a second. Joseph Poor concluded at the end of the study that going vegan is the single biggest um, uh, way to reduce your impact on planet Earth. Why wouldn't I listen to this massive landmark study by Oxford University? 40,000 farms in 119 countries they analysed. Why wouldn't I listen to that? Why would I listen to you? It's... It's... Farming is... It depends... Because that is... You're looking at worldwide, yeah? Correct? That was looking at worldwide. Well, I'm talking yeah. about vegan... Well, I'm talking about being vegan worldwide too. I'm talking about a world change. Well, if we're going to be... If we're going to be environmentally friendly or whatever you want to call it, it's not about getting rid of farms. It's not about that. It's about... And not about getting rid of animal agriculture. It's about changing... Why not? Farms. Well, well, bro. Well, well. So you just told me you support majority of farming, though, at the start of this conversation. UK regenerative. Yeah, yeah, but okay, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. You want you want to talk about regenerative farming? Okay, okay. but um, but okay. So, but you. Okay. Regenerative farming. Yeah. Okay. One second. Um, and at the start of this conversation, you said you support not, you know, not. Buy, okay. you know when you go you want to buy local most UK, you know there's a you know there's a local factory farm near my house there's a million local free range dairy farms near me do you know what do you know that there's a local factory you said buy local most of the dairy farms i go to are local most of the factory sorry most of the farm uh, factory farms i go to sorry 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 mate but most of the the factory farms i visit are an hour away 2 hours away they're all they're in towns next to people. Most of the factory horrible farms that you don't support are local to someone. When I say local, you say local. What do you mean? Local to someone? What does that mean? Let, let me talk and I can explain. When I say local, I mean yeah. family run. That's not what you said, bro. That's what I didn't explain what I meant by local. You know, free range, family run. You know, they care, they actually care for their animals. They care for them, eh? You're going to make that claim they care for them? Outdoors, they send them to the slaughterhouse. Range, that sort of they send them to the slaughterhouse, bro. Buy from them. But don't, free know, range. Free, free range. range. And how do we know they're free range? Because, because, because the farmer label tells you? Because the label on the packet tells me? If they've got a certified stamp or stamp approval from, you know, Red Tractor or whatnot. Red Tractor. Yeah, and I, again, I agree with you. Red Tractor can be a, a bit of an iffy subject because that is just the basic guidelines. Red Tractor. Red Tractor of they f that Red Tractor basically standard factory farming in the UK. That's Red Tractor. Yeah, Red Tractor. I will agree with you. Red Tractor is a very. Then why cool. did you mention it, bro? You don't know what you're talking about. Like you're mentioning one of the you're mentioning factory farming to us. Local. Okay. Well, it, when I say Red Tractor, I. It, what I mean is if it's had a certified stamp from a company... You Why do I care it. about that? Why, Why do I, I care know? about Red Tractor certified or certified stamp? Don't I care about reality? You get to know your local farmers. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So so, so we don't. Tr so you're telling us not to trust labels then? Because obviously you, sh we, you think we shouldn't if we, we have to go to the farm ourselves. If you can, if it's possible, buy from a local family farm, buy from a local family farm. Most farms... Yeah, you know, because local family butchers will support local farms. Most Just, factory majority, farms are family, family owned. owned. Go to your local family farm, your small family farm, you know... Okay, let me, just tell, let me just show you something, man. Let me just show you something. Let me just show you something. Let me just show you something. 90%, 96% of US farms... Are family farms and you know you know did you also know oh that's fine but did you also know that 99 percent of us farms are factory farms that's interesting eh yeah well i'm well I, as i've said i'm talking from a uk stand UK okay stand okay that's cool but you so you wouldn't say that from a us perspective eh you wouldn't tell people in the us to buy a fat you wouldn't tell people in the us to buy from family farms eh pardon you wouldn't tell people in the new in the us to buy from family farms eh well if, if it's a factory farm no Okay. okay, so you're saying there's no fact that, that factory farms aren't family owned here in the UK? They're all owned by just not, some corporation? Not, there's not, there will be, but I'm talking, you know, you've just said rich, rich families, right? You said. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, well, there's no money in farming, so they're not rich, they do it for the love. 
well, no, because what they'll do is they'll have they'll have made their money in another business and they'll buy a farm to offset their a lot of times to offset their carbon emissions or so they can get subsidies. Uh, get subsidies. You don't get subsidies. We don't know. They're dropping that. We we barely got any anyway, but they're dropping the basic payment scheme in the UK. So no no subsidies for farmers anymore. So you have to actually work in the free market like everyone else. I'm not sure of the year, but in a few years they're dropping the basic pa payment scheme. Yeah. Look, I, I don't actually believe you because you don't know what you're talking about most of the time. But we have to research it ourselves. To a um, a more they're not they're not dropping subsidies for farmers. I don't think, mate. Like if they did, it would end the industry. Um, but you get bailed out by. Right, so what I'm trying to say, if you let me explain. Um, okay. We, we're dropping the basic payment scheme, which was originally done off uh, land, like how much land you owned. Um, yeah. And now they're moving. Uh, they haven't officially released all the, the details yet, but what it is basically going to be is more of an environmental standpoint, if that makes sense. So you'll get money for rewilding. You'll get money for, you know, and not a lot. You know, bit just being. Yeah, you know, rewilding. Why? Because like. 40%, 48% of the land here is actually deforested for uh, for farms. So they're probably just incentivizing farmers to rewild because it's better to rewild than to have animals grazing on the land for the environment, isn't it? You just admitted that then. No, no, I didn't admit that at all. What I'm saying... So why are they being incentivized for... Re why are they being incentivized to rewild for the environment if having animals grazing all over the land with deforestation is good for the environment? No, I never said. I no. When I say rewilding, they rewild. Set, so what we would do, what we were doing. Yeah. Is, okay. Uh, yeah. So they don't rewild for the environment. Then why do they rewild? It's not for the environment. If you let me talk, I can explain to you. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, it's, uh, genuinely, no, genuinely, just stop interrupting and let me talk because you feel like I think you feel like you've got me here and you won't actually let me talk, and that's what you that's what you've done, pretty much the entire live. You just you know, constantly talk. What yeah, I but you have been talking nonsense the entire time, Charlie, making up stories. That's why I'm cutting you off and you're making me frustrated. Let me talk. So with arable farmers, uh, a lot of them, what they would do is they have, say you've got a land, uh, a field which is 10 acres, for instance. Yeah? <coughs> yeah it, I feel like you're bored, you're bored, but what you do, I've listened to uh, you mate, mate, like... the time and I've been intrigued in what you're saying and you're actually not asked yeah. about what I'm saying because you don't want to hear the other view, other, other point of view. And I'm not saying we're ever going to agree on this because you're. Vegan. Of course not, dude. You think you care for animals? You send them to the slaughterhouse to be cut up. It's 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 a weird way to care about animals. It makes sense for us to care for the animals, you know. Yeah, for financial sense, that's it. Financial sense. If an animal's not in good condition, then we won't. And you know, you're going to jump on this, but we won't get as much money for it. Exactly. Thank you. Thanks for saying that, mate. You admitted it. You know. Uh, you, bro, you, so you don't care for the animals because it's good for the cows. You care for it because it's good for their finances. It's good for their pocket. It's good for the cows as well. We want them to be... Ah, uh, yeah, of course it's good for the cows. But I'm, t I'm saying that the primary motivation that farmers care for the animals is because they have to look after their livestock because they, they are their bottom line at the end of the day. They don't do it... They don't just have sanctuaries, these farmers. They're not just doing it for nothing. Listen, I'm, there is no, I'm not disagreeing with the fact that there is a money side of it, and I've admitted that the whole way through. No, you, you denied it, bro. You, you kind of denied it. That's why I was a bit... We had a debate about it for 30 minutes. No, no. What I've said, there, there, is, a, there is a money aspect, but I, you asked me if it was purely for profit, and I said no. Because farming, we don't farm purely for profit. I don't work on a farm purely for money. I do it because I love it. People yeah, but you, you can... I don't care about anecdotes, Charlie. I don't care about anecdotes. I care about what is representative... <laughs> realistically you haven't actually you you've gone on your points you've gone in on you know show me your videos and all that sort of stuff and you know yeah just to show you like what calf hutches were because you just denied they existed or something a calf hutch, listen a calf hutch is basically a little shelter it's a tiny little cage they keep the animals in dude that's what it is out of, out of curiosity out of curiosity well, you know on that farm you showed me a video of with the calf hutches yeah. Because yeah. I'm actually curious about this. Where that was, where was that? I'm not telling you where it was, bro. I'm an investigator. Like America. It was in America, like in. I told you it's in England, brother. Pardon? Pardon? In, I'm in England. It's an English farm. I investigate English farms. And it was an intensive one, yeah. No, no. this the first one was um a smaller farm. The first one was a smaller farm. The second one was intensive. intensive. Yeah, the one you showed me with the car, I'm talking about calf hutches, was that, that was... Yeah, well, it doesn't, there's two calf hutches in that video, bro. The first one was a smaller farm. 
The second farm was intensive, massive, big, intensive mega farm, mega dairy in the UK. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not. I I personally, factory farms are a very are a very iffy subject for me. I'd rather farmers, all farmers, be free range. Okay, yeah. well, do you do you oppose factory farming? To oppose, as in, do am I against it? Are you against factory farming? Yes, yeah. I would say yes. Okay. The factory farming where they mistreat animals and yeah. You know, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, they do by virtue of them being factory farmed. Yeah. They are being I mistreated. I I would I would rather. What? Why do? How do you disagree with that? You're against factory farming. You know what it entails. Factory farming. You know what factory farming entails. Oh yeah, no, I don't know, and I, I disagree with that. If I well, could, then why I would, did if, okay? You know, so I then you land, actually, I would, I would make all farms, you know, free range. Yeah, yeah. it's like eighty-five percent of land animals in the UK um, are factory farmed. So you're actually against most of farming in the UK, bro. At the start of this, you said you support most of farming. You're actually against most of farming. Farming, farming for me is the free range. You know, the little family farms. You know, even if it's a big all right, farming yeah, free farm, range whatever. farming. Okay, yeah, that no, represents a minuscule amount of farming in the UK, which is quite. So you're against farming with me, basically. Like, it should be like free range. You know, cows out in the field, all that sort of stuff. But okay, like, cows out in the field, and and but you support the slaughterhouses actually on those. You you support slaughterhouses on those farms, the free range farms. I did slaughterhouses on farm. Do you support slaughterhouses? Because you said you're against factory farming. Do you support... Slaughterhouses aren't factory farms, are they? No. You said you don't support factory farms. I'm asking you now a different question. Do you support slaughterhouses? Well, yeah, because that's where you get meat from. Okay. So you think they're okay, but factory farms are bad? Well, because, because, because slaughterhouses have standards to abide to. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. And, and just for example... Just for example, what method do you think they kill pigs in? Stunned. They get stunned. How do they get stunned? Well, like a, a, bolt, a bolt gun, like a cow. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not actually how they get stunned. How, how is it then they get stunned? Well, they get stunned in a gas chamber. Uh, and that's 85% of the pigs in England. 86% actually in uh, England and Wales. Do you know what a gas chamber looks like for a pig, mate? Well, they're killed instantly, I'm assuming. There won't be yeah, any suffering. There won't be, you know, if they are killed in a gas chamber, there will be no okay. suffering. It'll be, it'll be instant, pretty much. Just instant. Is this one of the videos, by the way? No, this is just an inside CO2 gas chamber. Gas chamber. Pretty instant, eh? Hey? Oh, look well, instant here, bro. That'll be a that'll be a farm that's uh, not farm, sorry, a slaughterhouse that's not abiding by standards and, and obviously not giving the correct doses. I mean, again, I don't know enough about pig farms. Sorry, buddy. Can you please repeat what you said? Can you please repeat what you? Oh, oh sorry, I didn't hear you because of the sound of the pigs. What did you say? That'll be a, a slaughterhouse that wouldn't be abiding by what? Well, I, I'm I'm not 100 percent because I don't know enough about pig farming, but in, I would. Do you, you you said you support slaughterhouses? So sorry, go ahead. Yeah, you know I will slaughterhouses that abide by the rules and that don't give any suffering. You know, in your view, suffering. Um, you know, they don't yeah, suffer. What do you mean in my view, view, dude? What do you mean well, in my they view? Don't, they don't suffer, do they? I mean, the, if you look at cows. Uh, no, dude. I just asked you a question about pigs. Well, I've got, I don't know enough about pig farming, so. Well, I'm show, showing you how 86% of them are slaughtered. Where did that video come from? In the UK. That's an Australian gas chamber for CO2. Yeah, but as in who uploaded that video? Why does it matter? Do you think it's fake? It depends if someone's got an agenda or not. It is what it is, dude. Is from a new, no, is it from a neutral source? They're from animal rights activists. They ha Their agenda is to... One second... Their agenda. I will admit that that might happen because there are, you know, as I've said, it's like the BBC. Uh, what are you trying to say? That they picked out the worst gas chamber? Well, what they'll do is they'll pick out a slaughterhouse that is not doing stuff properly or, you know, it's like the what, BBC. What, what does proper CO2 look like? Do you have any idea? I don't know. If You're you going to lose BBC this part of the debate, dude. I've you a few weeks back. You're going to um, lose. I don't care about that. I don't care about Panorama. That's totally different. 
That is no, it doesn't. No, it it does not matter, mate. It does not matter because eighty six percent of pigs, no matter what, are killed in gas chambers. What you saw on that farm is not standard practice, right? What you're seeing here is completely standard practice. You can't pick this out. CO two gas. It's in Australia, isn't it? It doesn't matter. It happens in it the does. UK, it the Europe. It doesn't matter. Uh, do you know? Okay, so what do you think the the welfare bodies say about uh, CO two gas in the UK? Do you think they, they do you think do you think the, the the highest? Choose one of your favourites from the farming industry. Choose one of your favourites. What do you think they have to say about CO two? Do you think they go? Oh, it's all lovely. And what? Sorry, choose one of my favourite what? Everybody. Your favourite animal welfare farming organisation. I want to see what they say about CO two. Well, I, I don't know because I... They, a you lot don't know don't, anything about it, dude. I that's why. Quotes from them or whatever. You just don't know anything about it. You It causes well, I don't know enough about the pig industry, extreme you know pain and suffering to pigs. It's aversive. It Mate, burns them start, and it terrifies them. Pigs. What you've done is you've, you've tried to pick topics that I don't know enough about. And I will admit... You said you support... Support. I asked you if you support slaughterhouses. You said, yeah, because meat comes out of them. Now I'm telling you that CO2 is aversive to pigs, causes them suffering. Uh, all the welfare organizations are actually against it, right? And, uh, you know, but you, you, just, you just blindly support all slaughterhouses, but you think that's cruel. You think it only happens in Australia. I'm telling you it's standard across the board. Um, but, like, now you're sort of backpedaling and stuff like this. Even your own... Even the... The industry doesn't defend it because it's so bad. All right. Um, yeah. So do you, do you support gas chambers or do you eat pigs? Yeah, I eat all sorts of meat. I eat all the meat. So you eat I, pigs. I, I don't. So you eat, you, you actually eat out of gas chambers. Suffered pigs. Okay. And your point is? That's My point is you're supporting horrible suffering. You said you you know you, you think oh it's all free range it's all free range and to standard in there those those animals they just it's all gentle and it's all kind when they go in the gas chamber I'm pretty sure you said something, something like, like that, that. Uh, they probably just, uh, knocked out straight away you said something like this you said quick knocked out straight away um, let me quote myself again and I'm pretty sure I know what you're on about all I said was with cows as again. You pick topics. That That's okay. I've got. I'm really it's going to be on my you TikTok anyway, dude. On here. They'll tell you all about it, and they'll they'll have. Yeah. yeah. Why okay. Do you, you think you should be eating out of gas chambers if it causes crazy suffering to pigs? As I've just said, I don't know enough about the pig and poultry industry. And if you found out it caused them extreme suffering, would you stop eating pigs? <laughs> Listen, Jerry, mate. I, I'm trying to say, say to you, I don't know enough about pig and poultry. I, okay. I'm just. I asked you a question. I just said if you found out. Yeah, you're cornered, aren't you? You're cornered. I asked you if you found out it caused extreme suffering, would you stop eating pigs? Say that again. Sorry. If you found out that CO two caused extreme suffering to pigs, would you stop eating out of gas chambers? Well, if they, I'm gonna if think they about it, dude, mate. Enough, then yes, I would probably stop. But well, they moment, suffer in a horrible way. Stop eating meat. How much more do they have to suffer for you to stop eating them, dude? Well, they don't. Uh, listen, mate. I don't. As I've said, I don't know enough about pig and poultry. And we. I don't care if you don't know. I'm asking you for an answer. You don't need to know. I'm asking you how much do they have to suffer for you to stop eating them? That doesn't take data. I would eat them. Uh, you would eat them if they suffered. Listen, if I if they suffer enough, then I would stop yeah. eating them. But at the moment, I still eat them. Yeah, I know, mate. You got. You wouldn't. You don't actually care about animals, which is very clear to me. You said you care about them, but. Yeah, I do. You? If anyone were to touch any of the animals where I work, I would. It would. It would. I would be fuming. You care for those animals at your work, but you don't care for pigs. The suffering gas chamber. What? Well, listen, I care about all animals, and farmers are the same. It, it, you know, majority. They of don't farmers give care a about shit, animals. dude. Most farmers are factory farmers. They don't care about animals. That's nonsense, mate. Most most farmed animals come out of factory farms. Do you think they care about animals? Well, no, and that's why I. I yeah. Earlier, Look, I dude. Don't agree with factory. Farmers. Why do you speak? Yeah. Well, you just said most farmers care about animals and that, and like, Listen, yeah, come on. I, said, I look at the labels, and a lot of people now will look at labels of where it's come from, where where a certain yeah. you know a burger come from or whatever. Hey, bro. And I I try and buy a local as much as possible from local butchers. But I know yeah. So have you been inside a local slaughterhouse? Pardon? Have you been inside a local slaughterhouse? No, because you have to have you have. You, yeah, well, I will be going into one. Um, because okay, I'm, I'm, uh, tell me if you'd like to tra trade places with the animals in there. Well, let me put it this way. and I, If you if you asked me if I wanted to trade places with a cow in a slaughterhouse, 
I would, would say, you? I would say that they don't account no, you. in a very different. You're looking uh, at everything in black and white. Uh, and you're looking at right. you're looking at everything in uh, a way that yeah. that benefits you. But would you we, want to be in the place? In, do you, would you want to be if if you care about cows so much? Would you want to be in their position? What in where? Sorry. If you care about those cows so much, at your work, would you want to be in their position in the slaughterhouse on their last day? And a lot of dairy farms, I would happily be a cow there because they live such nice lives. You know, they are they have constant supply of food, constant supply of water. I asked about fedding. the slaughterhouse, bro, and you went to their nice life. <laughs> I asked about in the slaughterhouse. Would you like to trade positions with them in the slaughterhouse? Well, it doesn't, mate, because I'm a human and I have a conscience. And cows. If it's cows so humane, you don't think a cow has a. What, a cow, what do you think? I can assure you, a cow is not the same as a human. I never said they are, dude. They're, one's a cow. What do you mean? Who thinks they're the same? Say is, do you think a cow has emotions? Does a cow have emotions? You're telling me as a human, would I want to go into a slaughterhouse? And I would say no. Okay. Do you think a cow wants to? Wait, 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 wait. Does a cow want to? Well, a cow doesn't know what it wants. It just sort of cuts about. Oh, really? and it does, wow. Just, just oh, wow. About. Okay. I mean, I'm telling you now, cows don't know what So if a human, like, okay, so let me just ask you this. If a human being didn't know, uh, couldn't conceptualize a slaughterhouse and didn't know what they wanted, you know, some human beings are born differently to others. You know, you I'm, I'm just asking, asking would that make it okay to slaughter them? And it's two different mammals. No, I'm just asking you. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm making an analogy, right? And I'm saying if a human being didn't know what a slaughterhouse was, no, I know right? what I'm trying to say. I'm, I know exactly. Then why, why are you just saying you can't compare them? I'm trying to compare them. I'm trying to give a human being the same mentality as a cow. I know you're trying. You're trying. Oh, why? Well, you don't understand an analogy. That's why. You don't understand an analogy. I'm trying to find out if you're consistent. Do you know what a consistency test is? Yeah, I know what a consistency test is. Okay, I'm trying to find out if you're morally consistent. So I'm trying to find out if a human being had the intellect of a cow, right? Would it be okay to put them in a slaughterhouse? Well, again, you're comparing. You, mate, I'm not going to talk uh, about So you can't answer it, mate. You, 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 you can't answer it. Mate. That's okay. You, you're, you're weaseling. Do you know what weaseling is? It means that you're trying to weasel out of debate uh, answers. You're, you're weaseling out of the answer. Mate. You ask me questions that try to fit your agenda. I'm just saying you're weaseling. It's okay to be a weasel out of the question. That you know because I've admitted to you that I don't know enough about pigs and poultry. And that's why you're asking me that. No, no, no. I just asked you a question. If a human had the intellect of a cow, you said they don't even know, bro. Questions like that, which no one would Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know it exposes your hypocrisy. That's why. Right, mate, I'm going because I'm not talking to you right. anymore about this. All right. No worries, mate. Thanks for chatting. Bye. See ya. No worries, mate. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we ended up at um, would you kill a human with the intellect of a cow? Because his rationale for, you know, him not wanting to trade places with a cow in a slaughterhouse was that cows don't really know that they're going in the slaughterhouse. I think they know when they're in there and they see the blood and they see the chopped up animals. But um, if you sort of trait equalize a human, right? So if you get a cow and you get a human and you sort of trait equalize their mentality, because uh, you can do that in a hypothetical, actually. Um, is it okay to then put that human in a in a slaughterhouse because they're, they've they got the intellect of a cow? Obviously not. And if you cared about cows, you wouldn't just chuck them in a slaughterhouse. I mean, that's all nonsense, mate. And um, I think Charlie, uh, what I didn't like about Charlie is he wasn't very honest. Um, I'm going to say that. he. Um, I don't feel like he was being honest. I think he was um, speaking for all farming when he didn't even know all farming. Um, he did know certain things about the dairy industry, I will say that. Um, but he was speaking more on his experience at his dairy farm. And he wasn't, um, he wasn't uh, speaking for the dairy industry as a whole. He started saying, oh, cows are slaughtered at 10 to 15 years old. When that is, that's like a minority. That's like, you know... It rarely happens, you know, kind of these small-time dairy farmers. Um, you know, he wasn't interested in, in any of the data on dairy industry. Like, he wasn't... He pretended, he pretended cow hutches didn't exist. He's just saying, we put them in a shed with the other calves. Uh, well, I want to know what calf hutches are. He denied that... Um, he didn't want to answer the three calf outcomes that actually happen in the UK. Um, either the calf is killed, uh, they're sent for, for veal or beef. Uh, they're the three calf outcomes... Um, up until the end of this year, they can't shoot cal uh, calves on uh, bobby calves on the farm, bull calves. Um, you know, just I asked him. He said that they do it for that because they care about animals. Um, 
and it wasn't financially driven, which is bizarre. Like, just all these people are just sanctuary owners. Um, try to make it sound like they just do it for the love kind of thing, which is, well, come on, dairy industry is not in it for the love. Um, there probably are some farmers, right? I'm not saying that there aren't some farmers who exist who really just love dairy farming, right? They would be these hobbyists that exist. But when I was debating, um, Charlie, I was talking about the totality of the dairy industry. You know what I mean? So um, <laughs> we were talk. I was saying, you're defending dairy. Yep, let's go. Let's get clear. You're defending dairy. You can talk from the dairy industry's perspective then. So what essentially we're having a debate on is dairy, not on anecdotes, not on this person does that. Some farmers like to do dairy farms just for a hobby. Um, I'm talking about the dairy industry as a whole. I'm talking about what represents most of uh, the dairy industry uh, in terms of practices. And uh, yeah, we got to the point, basically, we, we argued on a few points that were just kind of beside the point, really, uh, just empirical stuff that we, he was making empirical claims without evidence, actually, um, saying that we couldn't survive, the whole planet couldn't just eat plants, considering most of the plants are being fed to animals, which is pretty crazy. And the vast majority of farmland has been used for animal agriculture, which is, again, crazy. We couldn't just uh, exist on plants. How do I stop people from putting these little things on my head? <laughs> um, so anyway, it's cute. But yeah. So thanks everyone for joining. Uh, thanks, uh, Charlie, for that debate. Um, even though I felt like you've been a bit dishonest and weaseling out of questions most of the time. Uh, I still appreciate him for getting on. Um, it's a bit fun, but uh, just he's got to stop uh, the nonsense, dude. That was... Uh, that was so much back to back to back to back to back nonsense. Um, that um, I think actually that's good actually. You know, it just it just looked like you were just completely making things up out of nowhere. Um, and uh, I didn't, it didn't, it kind of dug your hole deeper, really. If you just admitted a, a few things, you know, here and there, like that actually happen easily. You just said, yeah, that happens. Started saying to take halves away for their own good. If you just admitted to a few things and didn't make me like struggle to get the answer out of you, like God, every time I asked them a question, uh, um, yeah, but that's uh, ooh, uh, uh, like just, dude, if you're a dairy expert, just answer. Yeah, it happens most of the time. At my farm, it doesn't, or whatever. Just say that. 